Welcome, I'm Crafty Mary Ann. Today let's make the rose oil that we can use to make potpourri with coconut oil if you have it, but I don't have any in the house and I do have olive oil, so we're going to be using olive oil today. So the steps we're going to go through is we're going to pull the flower petals off the stems, shred the flower petals and put them in a jar, pour the olive oil over the jar, making sure we cover all of the flower petals, and then we're going to water bath that jar to bring the temperature up so that the oils that are naturally in flowers can mix with the olive oil. So it's been about 48 hours now since we first started our rose oil. The next step we're going to take is we're going to strain it and then we're going to add fresh rose petals to it so that the scent is a little bit stronger. All right, here we go. I have a small strainer and a canning funnel, which will make this go much easier. Okay. I have those set up. I'm gonna hold them together with my thumb and first finger. And we're just gonna pour. I think we're pretty close to, to being done. It's just trickling now. So while that is finishing straining out, so now that that's finishing straining out, I'm gonna flex the rose petals. I like to just grab it from here and just pull them right there and it all, it comes out very nicely each time. And we could like that. I'm going to break them all in half, or maybe more than half. Check on the scent. Just like before, once we have the petals in here, it's going to go into hot water. That way it heats up the olive oil and takes on that rose scent. Now you can do this as many times as you need, as you need to. Um, to get the scent that you want because I, I want a very strong scent because I'm making potpourri with it when I'm done. So. And for the last rose. All right, there we have it. That's so beautiful. Here we go. We'll check back in in a couple days. We're back and now we just need to strain the oil one last time and our rose oil is complete. Let's get started. So to use, do this, I'm simply using a canning funnel and a strainer so it sits nicely right inside the funnel. And we'll just open up the jar and slowly pour and let the, uh, the petals collect for us. Now since there are so many petals, you might need to dump out the petals and then come back and use a strainer again. And just a little tip, the more fragrant the rose, the better the oil's going to smell. Oh goodness, I have more oil than I have jar. At least it's a fragrant mess. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment area. And I'll be leaving the instructions in the description area below. If you have ideas for things you'd like to see, please leave that there as well. Thank you for joining Crafty Marianne.